Hey guys, I'm back again. This is Ken. We're uh, doing some work around here again. We're back to the shop. This one I do a follow up. Never ends our repairs, but we discovered that we have a seal leak and we're going to have to remove the axles right off from the axle. what it looks like when you got a seal leak. Basically all the oil will leak and comes down right over either there's a part of the brakes, the pads, or follow right through the spring racks. Pretty much around the deck. And we'll show you how we do the cleaning around here. Done, uh, done? Uh, I don't know. You're, You're done uh, frying the uh, the brakes? <laughs> All right, looks pretty clean, huh? Yeah. Well, we have very heavy greased oil turning to a dark, muddy, sticky grease. That's that's what happens when you don't change the seal advance ahead of time. You gotta spot it and clean it out right away so you don't have this heavy, thick oil. Well, that's pretty much looks what's inside. You can't see it. Kinda not to get dirt in there. Nice. Yeah, you can see how cold it is and it's very there you go, there you can see it. That's how you gotta do it to clean it out. Well, we'll come back. Well, if you guys have any suggestion, is there another way to clean this out? done, seal is in. Got it all in tight, very set, put the oil in. What's that grease? Oh, oil. Got the bearing in. We're putting uh, the washers. As you can see, that looks pretty good. All the grease, all that dirt is off. Got a brand new seal. And uh, we're gonna go check the second one on the rear right. So if for some reason both seals are shut. See guys, our truck drivers out there. See. It's Pretty much we don't know when this happens, it's just that when it happens, it happens. So we're going to have to actually take the drums off and ch you know, just check. It doesn't take a long time. We're glad that we detected all this before we start losing the, all the wheels. Boss, what about these ones?
Oh, they go outside. Oh, he's got two two big screws, huh? 